Hi everyone, it's Tammy from Shabby Fabrics. I have a really fun, quick and easy holiday gift for you today. This is so much fun. This is the twister tray. I absolutely love this. This is the first time I've ever made one. I love this. This is stiff. Can you hear that? You can see it's, it's a stiff tray. What an amazing gift this would make, like a hostess gift. You're going to someone's home for the holidays. Fill this with cookies or breads or all the fun things that we make at Christmas and present this to a hostess. Who would not love an amazing gift like that, right? Love this. So this is the twister tray. The pattern is by Twister Sisters. The, we do have some kits available and our kits are in Peace on Earth by Riley Blake. And I'm going to show you how to use the mini twister tool today. This is such a clever little thing. I love this little tool. Turns just regular patchwork into those really fun pinwheels. I love that. So in the pattern, they have complete instructions on how to use the heat moldable double-sided fusible that will come in your kit. Um, this is by Bozel and it's, it's stiff. When you get it, if it's rolled or folded, they do tell you in here how to take those creases out of it before you use it. But it was really fun, fun, fun project. I think you're gonna really like this. So I've got some 8012 Super Non-Stick needles. That was perfect for sewing through this. You do quilt this and I just used the 8012s. It was perfect. Carrot K Buckley scissors. I like the seven and a halfs for trimming this extra rotary blades. If you haven't used your little rotary cutter in a long time, you might need to put a fresh blade in. Definitely wonder clips. Those are very useful when I was doing the binding on this. So what I'm going to show you today is how to use the mini twister tool. I love this little tool. So what I've done is I have made my patchwork ahead of time. And I'll show you the back. I just simply press my seams opposite, press my seams up. I didn't do anything special on the back. So I'm gonna take my tool and you notice squared, it's like this. I'm gonna turn it on point so that I'm gonna line up these crosshairs with these seams right here on my patchwork, just like this. And also note these little grippy dots on the bottom, they're like little feet. They're so cool. They grip the fabric so that this tool stays in place when I apply pressure to it and it's not sliding all over. So I did not apply these extra. The tool comes with these cute little feet on it. Super smart. All right, so let's line this up. Hold this down. Now I'm gonna use a 28 millimeter rotary cutter. I know we normally use a 45 in our sewing rooms, 45 or even a 60 I've seen a lot of us use. This is a 28 millimeter rotary cutter and I like it because it's smaller and I'm cutting in kind of close quarters here. And I didn't want to have that great big huge blade coming toward my hand. So I'm also going to use a spinning mat. I have the small Ulfa 11, 11 and a half inch mat today because it, I just need something small that's going to spin with me to make a safer cut. All right, let's go ahead and make a cut. Here we go. I'm going to cut and rotate, cut and rotate, cut and rotate, and the final cut. Now look at this funny little piece. I love that. Perfect. All right. So I'm just going to set this to the side. All right. I'm going to set him right there. Let's do that again. So I'm just going to slide over to the next one. All right, so let's do this again. I'm gonna cut a few of these out and show you how this looks. There we go. I have a design wall on set with me as well. This is the center stage design wall. I like to lay my blocks out on a design wall and I really do like the center stage one. We've used it a few times. We do have them up in the sewing room. We are using them and the girls like them. So I like that they're portable and you can move them around. All right, so let's get these in order now. 
This is the third one I cut. I have to keep track of which one I'm cutting, right? This is the second one, first one, second, third. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay these out. That's correct. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pinwheel with the white is gonna make a pinwheel like this. You're just gonna rotate these blocks like this. So I have my birds are here, my holly's up here, my snowflakes are here. Okay, let's do it again. I'm gonna cut a few more here so we can see what this is gonna look like. And I'll show you how I sew these together. So you can see how my patchwork went from patchwork to pieces. So I wanted to show you, I do have a small piece left over. I have, oh, it's about a two and a half inch piece left over. So this is a perfect time to take these scraps. I would cut these into squares and set these aside for another project. All right, so here's my cute little pinwheels. Now when I put these on the table initially, I had one of these turned. I think I turned this one. Anyways, you can see how you're gonna keep your reds together, right? And here I have my whites together. This is a half a pinwheel. This is a half a pinwheel. I have another red pinwheel here and a white one here. How cute is this? All right, so let's put them together. What I like about these I don't have any seams to nest. I have no points I have to worry about. How many times have you guys ever heard me say that? There's no points. How fun is this, right? We just get to sew. Now remember this is a bias edge, so you are gonna wanna be a little careful. You can see how stretchy this is. It's pretty stretchy. I'm gonna be careful when I sew this. I'm gonna start with a starter strip. I'm gonna stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down, and I'll be right back. All right, beautiful. So I'm gonna press my seams to one side and then alternate the other way. So cute. I love it when you can take patchwork and turn it into something unique and different. And there we go. That's how you'd sew these together. So the mini twister tool turns plain patchwork into fun twisted patchwork, twisted pinwheels, I love the look, it's so much fun. Stay tuned, we definitely have more projects coming with the Twister Tools, and I'll see you next time on a Shabby Fabrics tutorial.